The Chinese proposal of mutual and equal disengagement at Pangong is rejected by India. The Chinese side first refused to undertake any further disengagement as they wanted Indian soldiers to also step back by an equal distance. According to the Indian military, this is untenable as this would lead to forsaking our post on the bank of line of actual control in the area. Eight patients died after a major fire broke out in a hospital in Ahmedabad on August 6. All the eight victims, including five men and three women, were COVID patients admitted at the hospital. According to an official, the patients were treated in the ICU ward at Shrey Hospital. It is reported that 40 other patients were rescued and shifted to another hospital. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adyanath on August 6 stated that if he ever gets invited to the foundation stone laying ceremony of a masjid, being a yogi, he could not choose to attend it. But as a chief minister, he wouldn't discriminate based on religion. However, he believes that he would not be invited to such ceremonies in the first place. After Shushan's father filed an FIR on July 25th stating that Rs 15 crore was redirected from Shushan's account in one year, the Enforcement Directorate filed a money laundering case against Riya Chakraborty on July 31st and has asked her to appear before the agency on August 7th. The ED has enlisted a budgetary evasion argument against Riya to determine whether the transactions were illegal. TV actor Samir Sharma was found hanging from his kitchen ceiling at his residence in Malad on August 5th. The actor was famous for his role in Starplus Channel shows Ye Rishta Hai Pyar Ke and Kahani Gar Gar Ke. An accidental death case has been registered with the Malad police and the body has been sent for autopsy. The police suspects that the 44-year-old died on August 3rd after looking at the condition of his body. Beirut, the capital city of Lebanon, witnessed two explosions, one after the other, on August 4th, affecting the residents living in the area of 10 kilometers from the site. The blast created seismic waste equivalent to an earthquake of magnitude 3.3. The scale of destruction was so great to be described, and the biggest loss is the loss of dozens of dead and injured, said former PM Saad Hariri. A Chinese man, Zhang Yuhang, wrongfully convicted in 1993 for murdering two boys, has been cleared of all the charges after spending 27 years in prison. Yuhang told that he was forced by the police to confess the crime. His case was reopened owing to the reason that his confessions were at odds with the crime. He was released on August 3rd on the ground of lack of evidence. President of United States Donald Trump post claiming that children are virtually immune to COVID is removed by the social media giant as it violated the policy norms of Facebook on COVID-19 by spreading misinformation. However, Trump posted the same on Twitter which has not been taken down. Several studies claim that children are less likely to get infected but could be potential transmitters. Manchester United defeated LASK 2-1 while Inter Milan beat Getafe 2-0 on 5th August. Both the winning teams have been qualified to the quarter-finals of the Europa League. A match between Rangers and the Germans on August 6th will decide who will face Inter Milan later. Wolves is set to face Olympicos and Sevilla to play against Roma in Duisburg on 6th of August. Microsoft's feature rolling with the update for your phone app on Windows 10 allows users to run Android apps on Windows 10. Apps will be launched on the PC in a separate window to interact with applications simultaneously. It is available for tester on Windows 10 Insider Preview Build 20185. Currently, the feature is only available on selected Samsung Galaxy smartphones. Thank you for listening to Briefly News. Have a wonderful evening.